case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for artist thomas forsyth found himself targeted by toy giant mattel for his provocative food chain barbie series the mattel corporation irate about what they deemed an infringement on their trademarks and copyrights took forsyth to court in his defense, Forsyth argued that his Barbie images were intended as a parody and critique of the iconic doll. The court concurred, noticing that Forsyth merely reproduced Mattel's Barbie to the extent necessary to communicate his point. Therefore, his work was deemed fair use, since it did not disrupt the market demand for Barbie or any products from its licensees. During the lawsuit, Mattel even subpoenaed an art history expert in the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, seeking any documents related to Forsyth, the Barbie brand, or the museum's protocol for the reproduction of proprietary art. However, this overreach met stiff resistance from the museum and was ultimately quashed by the court, leading to an award of council fees and expenses for SFMOMA. Despite the court's decision to clear Forsyth of IP rights violation and to deny their preliminary injunction, Mattel wasn't quite ready to back down. They appealed the judgments, insisting on their charges of trademark dilution and false advertising. Meanwhile, Forsyth counterappealed, discontent with the denial of his attorney's fees and costs. The higher court, however, stuck to the original verdict, reinforcing that Forsyth's use of the Barbie doll was indeed a case of nominative fair use. Crucially, their judgment held that there was no risk of consumer confusion to hearken infringement of the Lanham Act. The court dismissed Mattel's claims, upheld the ruling to quash Mattel's discovery subpoena, and again charged Mattel with all costs for the appeal. However, it did offer a shaft of hope to Forsyth remanding back to the district court the issue of denying his attorney's fees, which they noted might have involved an error in legal analysis. Intimating that fees might be justifiable under the Lanham Act, the appellate court ensured that this portion of the case was reopened for reassessment. Despite the ongoing wrangling over legal expenses, the court's decision reinforced the artist's right to criticize consumer culture, even as it pertains to an enduring global brand like Barbie. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 